All right, this is about arithmetic sequences. This is something that pops up on just about every single ACT math exam, at least twice. Uh, it's either this or geometric sequences. So understanding them, how they work, how their means and medians work out is also extremely important. This is a problem that showed up on a past exam. Problem number nine, an arithmetic sequence has this many terms. What's the difference between the mean and the median? So they don't give you a common difference. They don't give you really much at all. They don't give you the first term or anything. They just tell you how many terms there are. So that means you have to kind of notice something about arithmetic sequences. Let me just create some hypothetical example. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's our arithmetic sequence. Um, now, what's my mean? It's just going to be three. If you add, if you add all these together, and you divide by five, you'll get your mean value to just be 15 over five, which is going to be three. Okay. So the mean is what we notice, just the the middle value, and the median is also just the middle value, which tells you if you have an arithmetic sequence and you have a common difference of, in this case d equals one, then your mean is actually just going to be equal to your median. 